Yo, what's up guys? Steel Vico here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're doing something quite a bit different. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing this uh, Christmas tree right here, which I modeled to look uh, after the Clash of Clans Christmas tree from 2019. Uh, I wanted to do the 2021 first, uh, but that one didn't work out. Uh, so I wanted to showcase this one, which is a much simpler tree, but the star is kind of the... Uh, main thing that I'd like to showcase, kind of, at the end, um, but, uh, right now we'll just pop up an image of the, uh, tree in-game, uh, right there, so you guys can kind of see that. Um, I know that it's gonna be a little bit different, different content, um, just kind of doing something a little fun for New Year's, you know, something different. Uh, you know, kind of just wanted to change it up, just to be kind of a short video, I just wanted to showcase this fun Christmas tree I have. I'll move it up so I can kind of show you guys the details, but we basically just went to, I believe it was Menards, uh, I, where I actually think I got pretty much all of this stuff. Um, and this is basically just a blue Christmas tree. It's meant to resemble the kind of icy colors that it has. The Christmas tree, this part is probably the least accurate of it. It's just, it was kind of difficult to find a tree that would work for it, and we just kind of found one that kind of looked close. Um, and it does come with lights, um, and I will showcase that right, right now. Um, alright guys, I apologize for that cut there. I really did struggle with getting this tree to where I wanted it. Um, but, basically, this is the tree, uh, here. Um, and, uh, as you can see, we uh, I want to, um, we also at Menards, I found these stars to match the stars that are there in the game. They look fairly accurate and pretty close, I would say. I'll, um, I'll just take one off so I can show you. They're all the same. I did end up using, um, we used quite a few. We had to buy like three or four packs of these just so we could get enough of the ones that are the right color. Because there were shinier ones and different colored ones that came in the pack. Um, but, yeah, I believe these are still being sold at Menards. Like I said, I made this, uh, in 2019. I decided, I just didn't decide to showcase it at the time. This is the star, um, that I simply, um, kind of just put around these branches. And then I looped it in so that it kind of closed it off and, and so that it looked like, um, you know, it, it looked like it was kind of just attached and hanging down. Um... And you can see that there are, like, five on this side. And then there's one in the very back. Now, I'm unsure of why this one's here. It might be somewhere in the game and I'm just not noticing. But there is one in the back here. And I think it might be meant to kind of be displayed at a slight angle. But it's really hard to see that and see all the other stars. So, you know, I kind of wonder why I put that there. But it's there. Um, and for some reason there's, a like, a hook for a ornament here with nothing attached, but, uh, anyway, the most important part is definitely the star for this one, which I'll show you guys now, um, and I believe it is looped through, yeah, it's looped through up here, and, um, this, uh, took more ingenuity than anything else on here, um, and I'm very proud of this star, actually, um, so, what it is, is, um, it is, well, the, the star itself, which is supposed to resemble, like, you guys see it in the picture that I showed earlier, what it's supposed to look like, um, this had, um, other parts that stuck out here, like, in all of these spots, I cut those off, um, and then I sanded this thing down, now, this is supposed to be a snowflake, obviously, and I then sanded it down, and I spray painted it a few layers, I believe, to kind of give it that shiny, uh, finish to it, um, and then I, uh, found, like, a little jewel, like, a plastic jewel, painted it, uh, blue to match the thing in the game, and then I just glued it in the center of it, and I think I got it pretty centered. Then I just took one of the, you know, standard st Christmas stars, uh, holder things that go like that, and I pulled, pulled off the original one, and then I looped it around, I had to adjust it, and I glued it on. Pretty simple uh, for, well, this attachment part. I did have to go through a few uh, sticks of glue to get this right because it kept falling off. 
Um, but I think it came out pretty good, and I'm pretty proud of this star. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, of my tree. Let me know if you guys kind of like this type of content, if you like me to kind of do these kind of things on the side. I might consider doing more. I might do the 2021, like, as a video. I still plan on making it. I know it's kind of too late, um, but it was kind of rough, and we, we struggled to um, find what we needed for that. So anyway, guys, that's about it I have for this. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully uh, this isn't too different for you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think if you want me to do more of these or if you prefer for me to stick to the uh, strictly mostly Halloween and some Christmas stuff in between. This is kind of, you know, a bunch of different things. You know, it's it's holidays, Christmas, and kind of gaming. And uh, it's a little different from Clash of Clans. I believe I said that before. Uh, hopefully I did. Um, but yeah, hopefully you knew about the title. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, and maybe this will inspire you to make your own Clash of Clans Christmas tree if you wanted to design. Um, this is a short tree, by the way, just for sim simplicity, it's, it's very, very short. Um, but I did enjoy making it, and, uh, let me know, guys, how is your New Year's going? What is your New Year's resolution? I'd be happy to hear about that. Um, yeah. Happy New Year's, guys, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be next year, um, of course. Um, bye.